hi students in this class we will learn about image formation by lenses first we will see the image formation by a convex lens for different positions of the object first we will see when the object is kept at infinity at infinity means very far away therefore the incident rays these are the incident rays from the object these incident rays will be parallel to the principal axis this is the principal axis and the incident rays are parallel to this principal axis when the incident rays are parallel to the principal axis after refraction it must pass through the focus you can see from the diagram the, these rays are converging at this point this is the second focus f2 on the other side of the lens at f2 you will get a real image and real image will be always inverted it will be point sized point sized means highly diminished image is formed at f2 when the object is beyond 2f1 this is the object and it is kept on the principal axis beyond 2f1 the incident ray 1 is passing parallel to the principal axis this is the ray 1 and it is parallel to the principal axis therefore after refraction this should pass through the focus this is passing through the focus f2 the incident ray 2 is passing through the optical center therefore it goes straight that ray is undeviated and these two rays are meeting at this point where you will get the image you are getting the image here between f2 and 2f2 the image is real inverted and diminished the image is between f2 and 2f2 on the other side of the lens when the object is placed at 2f1 you can see the object at 2f1 this be ray 1 and let this be ray 2 ray 1 is parallel to the principal axis therefore after refraction it should pass through the focus and ray 2 is passing through the optical center and it is undeviated these two refracted rays will meet at this point at that point you will get the image the image is formed at 2f2 and it is of the same size as that of the object images obtained on the other side of the lens it is real inverted and of the same size now when the object is placed between 2f1 and f1 this is the object and it is placed between 2f1 and f1 let this be incident ray 1 and this be incident ray 2 incident ray 1 is parallel to the principal axis and it is passing through the focus and ray 2 is passing through the optical center and hence it goes straight these two refracted rays will meet at this point and an image is formed at that point this image is magnified and it is obtained beyond 2f2 on the other side of the lens here the image is real inverted and magnified when the object is placed at infinity we got the image at focus f2 now we are placing the object at focus f1 this is the object which is placed at f1 therefore the image must be obtained at infinity the incident ray 1 is parallel to the principal axis 
and after refraction it is passing through f2 and incident ray 2 is passing through the optical center and it goes undeviated these two refracted rays are parallel to each other and are not converging at a finite distance the image will be at infinity on the principal axis the image is at infinity means it is at a very far distance on the other side of the lens it is real inverted and highly magnified when the object is placed between f1 and o this is the object and it is placed between f1 and o ray 1 is parallel to the principal axis and therefore after refraction it should pass through the focus ray 2 is passing through the optical center and it is undeviated as it is passing through the optical center these two refracted rays do not meet each other but if you extend these refracted rays backwards these dotted lines are the extensions if you extend it backwards it appears to meet at this point these refracted rays appears to diverge from this point and you will get the image at that point this is the image and the image is erect virtual and magnified and it is on the same side and behind the object now we will study the image formation of concave lens concave lens are known as diverging lens for a concave lens we have to learn two cases the first case is when the object is at infinity when the object is at infinity the incident rays are parallel to each other these incident rays are parallel to the principal axis after refraction these rays are uh, appears to diverge from this point which is the focus you will get the image at this focus and the image will be virtual erect and diminished the image is obtained in front of the lens the second case is the object is placed between infinity and o o is the optical center this is the object and it is placed at a finite distance from the concave lens let this be ray 1 and this be ray 2 the ray 1 is parallel to the principal axis and it is diverging in this manner ray 2 is passing through the optical center and it is going straight these refracted rays do not meet you extend this refracted ray backwards this at this point it is meeting with the ray ao you will get the virtual image at that point this is the image this image is virtual erect and diminished it is formed in front of the lens between the optical center and the focus this is the focus and this is the optical center and the image is formed in between f and o the image is on the side of the object let us summarize the position nature and size of the image formed by a convex lens the position of the object when it is at infinity the image is at f2 and when the object is at f1 the image is at infinity in the first case at infinity when the object is at infinity the image will be highly diminished point size 
real and inverted and when the object is at focus f1 the image will be highly enlarged it is real and inverted when the object is at 2f1 the image is at 2f2 and it is of the same size real and inverted when the object is beyond 2f1 the image is between f2 and 2f2 it is diminished real and inverted when the object is between f1 and 2f1 the image is beyond 2f2 the size will be enlarged and the nature is real and inverted when the object is placed between focus f1 and optical center the image is on the same side of the lens as the object it is enlarged virtual and erect this is the case where you get virtual and erect image what about concave lens the position nature and size of the image formed by a concave lens here we have only two cases when the object is at infinity and the object is placed at a finite distance from the concave lens when the object is placed at infinity the image is at f1 it is highly diminished point sized the nature of the image is virtual and erect when the object is placed between infinity and optical center o the image is between f1 and o it is diminished and the nature is virtual and erect in this session we learned about the image formation of convex lens and concave lens when we learned spherical mirrors we learned concave mirror and convex mirror similarly in lenses we learned convex lens and concave lens the different positions of the object were seen in each of these cases for concave mirror and for convex lens there were six positions for the object and for the convex mirror and concave lens there are only two positions for the object that is for a concave mirror and for convex lens concave mirror convex lens there are six cases for the object positions whereas for convex mirror and for concave lens we learned two cases for the object positions for mirror if it is convex for lens it will be concave like that you can remember in the next class we will learn about lens formula see you